Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, as we close the Eighth Africa Regional Forum for on Sustainable Development, I wish to thank once again the UN Economic Commission for Africa for choosing Rwanda as the host of this forum and for effective collaboration with Rwanda in the preparation of this event. I wish also to thank all of you, all participants, for coming to Rwanda physically. It's been more than two years. Most of us have not had such opportunity to meet physically. And uh, it gives us hope that slowly we are moving towards normaliza normalization and that going forward we will be able to meet more frequently to discuss African issues and agree on uh, measures and the action to be taken to move towards uh, sustainable development. I thank you for your contribution in different uh, discussions on sustainable development. We are lucky to have a large diversity of participants representing different uh, goals and indicators. Uh, so this have enabled us to read to collect uh, different views that have informed our final documents we have just adopted. I want to thank the outgoing bureau for a wonderful job done and for preparing us to take over. We will continue to work with them to ensure continuity as also we assume our responsibility to chair this forum for, for this year. I want to congratulate my colleagues, the new bureau. So we are committed to take on this task until next year when we meet in West Africa. This forum has been a, a great opportunity to review progress made in the last seven years since 2015 in the implementation of the sustainable development goals, but also it was an opportunity also to assess how far we have gone with the implementation of the Agenda 2063, the Africa we want. We have also exchanged our countries, our region's experiences, but also challenges, especially the challenge of COVID-19. And we have agreed on key actions to accelerate the implementation of the two agendas, Agenda 2030 and the Agenda 2063. One issue that I would like to highlight is that these two agendas should not be considered as the UN agenda or African Union agenda. These are primarily our country's agendas. Therefore, the ownership of these agendas is so critical 